What is going on guys, Mobile Carry News here, and my bad for not posting any videos, I've been super busy with my new job and just getting everything situated, but now I have two days off of work, and I want to talk in this video about Verizon's 5G, as you can see I use Verizon Wireless, their 5G and their LTE. I've noticed some things when using LTE, so I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi right now, there it's off, and I'm going to be turning on, let me turn on my cellular data, I uh, know that's out of roaming actually, let me turn that on. There we go. I've noticed. <clears throat> so as you can see, I don't really get good 5G here. So there it is. But I'm going to switch to LTE. I want to talk about something I've noticed lately. And this is this is very lately. I know even I know I'm deprioritized. It's pretty bad for me. The, uh, my speeds literally go from uh, 90 megabytes per second download speed down to like 30, uh, 25, sometimes 40 on a good day, I guess. I guess it just depends on the area, <clears throat> but I've been noticing more that I don't know if they're upgrading LTE. I don't know if they're what they're doing here um, because I noticed in California, they have a lot of ni uh, nippy or nimpy people. Basically, people are saying who do who they don't want that they basically don't want LTE or 5G to be upgraded because of health concerns, dangers, you know, all that's uh, all that stuff. But I, what I've been noticing about LTE is my LTE even though I'm on Verizon's uh, um, unlimited, get more unlimited plan, <clears throat> I'm thinking of switching it to be honest, uh, so I can pay for less. But uh, but but I did. But uh, but then again, I did. But then again, I did turn on the features to use. You know, Hulu, Disney, ESPN. I I, I did ask uh, to turn on those features, and I'm already using them, so might as well pay the ninety dollars a month. But I've noticed on my LTE, it's getting. Even though I'm deprioritized pretty bad, I've noticed that my speeds are getting much better than how they were. Like, I don't know how to explain this, but my speeds like get to, uh, even, like are a little faster, even though I passed over my data limit. And even though my LTE doesn't uh, my LTE doesn't really what use a lot of data for me to go over because I've currently used if you if I scroll down here. I've used about 62.78 gigabytes of data, uh, and that's on 5G. But and with LTE, it's pretty fast too, <clears throat> even though there's more LTE coverage. But I've noticed that my speeds are honestly getting better. I'm not sure if they're optimizing the towers or if uh, LTE is getting better, improving better in California. Because, because I'm not going to lie, there is a lot of LTE coverage for Verizon. Everywhere I go, I get, I get covered pretty well. Uh, as you can see in, in my uh where I live, I go to one bar. Everywhere I go, I don't I never get one bar. I have pretty good coverage, but I notice my LTE is improving slightly. So even though I'm deprioritized, am I are they upgrading the LTE towers? I know there's no new unlimited data plan yet because I've checked there's no new plan yet. They have not announced that yet. As we all know, Verizon is too congested. They don't have enough bandwidth, so they can't release it on the unlimited data plan. So they're either 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 upgrading the towers or adding more towers, and unfortunately, I, I've uh, I've you know going on going uh, on the freeway down the road, I've seen these towers, <clears throat> I've seen them everywhere. But the thing is though, I don't really know what kind of towers they are. I don't know if they're Verizon towers, AT and T towers. I do I, I, you know I run speed tests here and there, but I don't know what kind of towers they are. But LT for but if you live in California, LT is improving. Now I'm not sure if it's just in in my whole area. Um, I don't I, if you live in San Diego, San, it's in San Diego or San Francisco. I can't really, you know, explain. I can't really explain anything to you because I don't live there. But I would say Verizon is finally improving LTE, even though LTE has been around, what, 10 years. They are improving it. So that's what I that. So that's it. That's that's a good thing. I like how they're actually improving LTE. I wish they could improve it better. Because there's still there's still a lot of dead uh, dead zones or dead spots with LTE, and <clears throat> not only that, LTE is not really used being used to 100 of its potential because there's more there's a lot of 3G towers still, and Verizon's not going to shut down those towers by next year. So by next year, December 2022 through June 2023, LTE will be improved more and better than ever. Will they have a new limited data plan yet? I honestly can't say for certain. I honestly don't know when. I heard they're not going to have a new unlimited data plan uh, till two to three years. You know, it is what it is. If that's the case, you know, it's, I can't really, we can't really do much at this point. 
we just have to wait and hopefully see man improves everything makes things better um um <clears throat> uh, we'll see band make uh make deprioritization a thing of the past i honestly don't know i have to let i'll have to test that out when c-band is finally deployed and who knows if c-band is actually going to be deployed everywhere in the united states because from what i've heard deep uh c-band is going to be deployed but it's not going to be completed till late or late 2022 early 2023 so it's so it's gonna so C band is basically gonna be like five G where it's in its beta stages, and uh, we'll we'll have to see if how it improves. I'm very curious to see how it will affect uh, usage, if it, if it can handle congestion very very well. I'm not. Well, we'll honestly see. I'll I'll let you. I'll keep you guys updated on a video like that. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.